Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a audio muffled build-up effect in After Effects. Uh, sorry for the mic quality again. I am in between changing my setup right now, but we will have a permanent setup within the next week or two, hopefully, and uh, videos will be back to normal with face cam intros, good mic quality, all that stuff. I just thought I would uh, bring you guys an upload. I've been super busy the past week with school and sports, so that's why I haven't posted in like five days now uh, at the time of this video going up, so... Bear with me, I'm trying to maintain my upload schedule, but at the same time, it's kind of hard with all this stuff going around, um, going on in my life. So, what I'm going to be showing you, underwater audio effect. So, we're going to go a uh, new composition right here. Make sure our resolution is set to whatever we want, 1920 by 1080, 25, 60 by 1440, whatever you want. Uh, you can change the frame rates to something like 60. I'm just going to make the composition length about 30 seconds because that's all we really need with a clip. All we are going to do is we are going to find a clip that we're going to be using. So for me, I'm going to go to my hard drive and then I'm going to go to the folder that we have our thing in right here. And we're just going to kind of drag in one of these right here. So I'm going to do reverse Mongo Classic One Pump. Let's do that. And... Um, you know, I have the resolution set to 2560 by 1440, so I don't have to scale out the clip itself. I'm also going to go to my music folder, and we are going to find a song. So I'm going to use Satisfaction. And then I'm going to find the beat drop. We're going to add a marker on that by pressing N on our keyboard. I showed how to set up markers in my how to have good flow video if you guys want to check that out all the links to tutorials that i'm going to reference in this video will be in the description as usual i'm just going to trim it down to the portion we're going to be using so all we got right now super good just like that that's all we really need it's just perfectly synced up and uh, we're actually going to move from there so for this what we're going to do is i'm going to go to where we first pull out our shotgun right here and the ramp becomes fully edited. We're going to split the clip by pressing Control shift e if you don't know how to do that. Uh, Control shift e on your keyboard. We're going to go to the first frame that the thing is fully edited. So we can see right here we still have debris. We're going to go one frame to the right, split it right here. We're going to press Control alt t We're going to add a time remap marker keyframe. Sorry, that's what it's called. I'm an idiot. I've been editing for a while to not know that. We're going to add one at the beginning, one on the kill. And then we're going to come to right about here. And we're going to add one and then drag it out a bit. You'll see why in a second. And then just like that, all we're going to do is select all of these. Press F9 on your keyboard and then go into our graph editor. We're going to zoom in just a bit. We did a lot of this in the how to have good flow tutorial. We're just going to bring this one up like this. Bring this down and then we're going to make this one kind of steep. Bring this one down just like this. And uh, if we don't like how aggressive it is, we can just do this. Bring that over just a bit. Bring it down if we need. Bring it down even. That one I don't really like, so I'm going to bring it up even more. See, I, I, I like that one a lot more, so we're going to just stick with that. And I am going to mute this. We're just going to mute all of it, to be honest, because we don't really need the... Uh, the audio or honestly we could extend this underneath and then just have the audio play out just to have it so it's like not like an awkward cutoff um, from here we're just going to add any impact that's not really the main focus the main focus is going to be the build up so we're going to go and just add uh, whatever we want so I'm gonna add my essential impact I have an impact tutorial on the channel if you want to check that out um, this is just taking a second to load. You should press U on our keyboard, bring up the keyframe menu, select all these, line up the second marker with the beat drop just like this. And that is that. We're going to also make sure we have frame blending on this part right here, so we're just going to tick that box twice. And that is pretty much that. I'm going to just enable it on the actual clip itself. And then all we got to do from here is starting on the point where we have the uh, slowdown, we're going to add an adjustment layer and we're going to add an adjustment layer right here. Um, it's up to you whatever you want to do on this part. I normally add a VHS because I feel like it really adds a nice little touch with this um, 
what's it called with the muffle so we're gonna just mess around with this we can keyframe this at 100 at the very beginning go 15 frames 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 frames sorry because 15 is cutting in a bit too close to the kill change it to maybe 70 or let's do let's do 40 I'm oh, sorry yeah 40 40 should be good or maybe we can exaggerate it a bit more and do something like 25 yeah that's better bring it in maybe a bit more and that is pretty much that all we got to do now we're going to go to our audio we're going to split it on these same points right here and we might actually drag it out just a tiny bit because we're going to be doing some keyframing stuff so make sure that those are actually overlapping we're going to select this layer and we are going to look up high low pass which is uh something i displayed in the last video i think it's low what's it called high, high low pass right here drag that onto our audio we're going to change this to low pass and then we're going to change the cutoff frequency to 20,000. 20,000 keyframe at the beginning go to where we kind of are at this point right here and then we're going to change this to 400 and that is pretty much that It's kind of not as noticeable with, but if we want to, we can like drag this out, drag this even back more and then extend this. And then if we were to like add this effect to this, let's say, you know, so we can hear that versus it definitely muffles it like you guys can tell but um yeah i mean that's pretty much how you can do that if you want you can also add like a studio reverb so you can like just add a nice reverb to this you can change the decay a bit change the reverb time a bit longer and then like i said you can change the decay i stick with something like 40 and then i change my reverb time to about 130. so i don't know what i stick with So if we were to add this, just so you can kind of hear by itself. So you can kind of hear that. So that's pretty much what it sounds like by itself. Um, you know, we just got this little fade. Um, obviously we would add a screen pump, something along the lines of that. I did cover that in my impacts video as well as my five insane effects videos. So if you actually want to check that out in depth, you can go uh, check out that video. That'll be in the description. All the stuff to do after that. Um, just render it out. And you can utilize this in different things. Your intros, your outros. 100% um, up to you guys. You know, build-ups, intros, outros, transitions even. You know, um, parts where you're doing an edit course. You can have it fade out and then fade back in. 100% up to you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, short tutorial. I'm going to be doing a couple more of these before I actually um, I'm transitioned to my permanent setup. We'll do some content videos once we're into that. I'm um, sorry for the inactivity, guys. Appreciate you all that uh, are sticking with me still. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.